Hello, and welcome to a short video on the control of wheeled robots. We will be investigating open loop point control, closed loop PI control, and real world applications with the effect of error on each. With the expansion of the global robotics market, mobile robots are becoming more and more common in day-to-day -day industries. The Starship delivery drones, Panasonic medical robot, and Stiga autonomous lawnmower are examples of wheeled mobile robotics currently on the market. Mona is an 80mm wide robotic platform developed by the University of Manchester for swarm robotics research. It features a near circular body shape with a differential drive, which is why we'll be using it for the basis of our model. By implementing an open loop transfer function, we can create a model of a basic point to point mobile robot. Our desired speeds are calculated and set in the controller. Here, angular velocities have been rounded to avoid inputting a factor of pi. By taking the distance between the robot's location and the destination, we can find the steady state absolute error of our model, here 0.00136, likely due to the rounding error from our pi approximation. If we then adapt our model to include randomly generated uncertainties in our velocity measurements, we can create a more realistic visualization. Here the deviation in path can be clearly seen, as our error increases to around 0.09, almost a factor of 100 larger than before. These randomly generated deviations in measurements are to simulate real-world uncertainties, like error in proprio and exteroceptive sensors, such as taco generators, accelerometers, or gyro scopes, which will each present their own uncertainties in measurements alongside possible drift error. For our third step, a PI controller is introduced to the system. This controller will use our uncertainties to adapt the current velocities in order to achieve a target speed or rotation, depending on the tuned proportional gain and integral gains. A simple one-point navigation is used to tune the proportional and integral gain, which when successful, produces very desirable results with a low error, here only two micro units. Combining our tuned PI controller with a position planner, more complex plans can be completed by our mobile robot. By providing a list of desired target points, we can create a path for the robot to follow, where our system will determine the appropriate rotational and translational velocities. We can then find the error of our system for each target point and determine if the system is effective against our criteria. Furthermore, our system can be adapted to suit multiple needs by adjusting the gain terms in our PI controller. For example, a system using the following setup prioritizes quick turns and linear path. This would be suited for our differential drive Mona in a very restricted environment. On the flip side of this is a system which prioritizes smooth motion with long turns, perhaps a robot without the luxury of a differential drive with a much larger turning circle. We can take a side-by-side -side comparison of our three demonstrated controllers, the first of which prioritizing speed, and view the differences between their behavior of completing the same path. Real-world examples of these could be racing drones, which would require the fastest times, delivery drones, which would be the most restricted, or agricultural drones where consistency is a priority. In short, closed-loop motion control is an effective form of control for wheeled robots for a wide variety of applications. Thank you for watching.